Hey everyone, welcome to The Healthy Hustle and thanks for being here. Today we're gonna to dive into avenues to support the gut and therefore improve overall wellness. And we have the perfect person to help educate us on the topic and that's Dr. Joan Bejnath. Dr. Bejnath is a board certified internist with a specialty in integrative medicine. She possesses a variety of certifications and coursework in medical marijuana, hormone replacement therapy, Ayurveda, and nutritional health. Her current practice specializes in holistic consultations in the emerging field of epigenetic-based health and wellness. Her holistic program incorporates a lovely blend of Eastern and Western medicine, including medical cannabis, acupuncture, uh, colon hydrotherapy, and life coaching. Uh, she's the full meal deal, perfect person to help us with this topic. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, so Dr. Bejnath, I understand there's a strong connection between the mind and the gut. Can you tell us a little bit about how one's mind and mindfulness impact gut health? Okay. All right. So that's a complex topic, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> the gut-brain axis is very complicated, but I'll try to simplify it um, for, for our viewers. So to define the gut-brain axis, it would be the gut-brain axis is, um, is the way the, the brain and the gut communicates in a bidirectional way. So we all know how the brain works. It's a neural network. The brain is a neural network of over 100 trillion neurons. And it communicates with the rest of the body via um, nerves and neurotransmitters. The gut, what, what it isn't common knowledge, is that the gut has an enteric, um, it also has its own enteric nervous system. And it has over 100 million neurons, and we call that the enteric nervous system. And it produces so many of the same neurotransmitters that the brain produces, such as um, acetylcholine, serotonin, dopamine, and things like that. So also, the gut um, is connected directly to the brain via the vagus nerve. So that's a direct communication. and then the um, hormones and neurotransmitters and cytokines produced by the, um, the enteric nervous system communicates in a biochemical fashion. So there's different modalities. And they communicate, so the gut communicates with the brain, but the brain also communicates with the gut. So now, to understand the importance of that, we also have to talk about the microbiome. The human microbiome, the, or the bacteria in our, um, in our gut, these bacteria produce a lot of the neurotransmitters we talk about, the, um, such as dopamine, and serotonin, and um, it also produces um, uh, other things like fatty acids, short-chain fatty acids, and vitamins. So these bacteria, there's 10 times more bacterial cells in our body than human cells. So we are 10 times, 90% of us is bacteria, 10% human. So we can understand the importance of a healthy microbiome that produces neurotransmitters and cytokines and vitamins and such. And these communicate with the brain. So when we talk about gut health, we talk about how we talk about the importance of the microbiome. And um, so if the brain, if these neurotransmitters from the gut can influence the brain, so can the neurotransmitters from the brain influence the gut? Because like serotonin, for instance, is our feel-good hormone. If we are depressed, like say your mood, if you're depressed, that is gonna influence your gut, and it may show up in a depressed functioning of your gut in the form of constipation. If you're anxious and you're producing too much serotonin, you might, it might show up in the form of diarrhea, right? So we can see the connection of how the mind is affecting the gut, but also if we're not producing enough of those hormones in the gut, it can cause a depression or an anxiety. I mean, I, I hope you can understand the power 
that these two play. So we have the first brain and the gut microbiome is considered our second brain. And these two are in an infinite relationship with each other, feeding back and forth in an infinite way. I, I just think it's beautiful how it works. Isn't so <laughs> we have to be aware of how our thoughts affect and our mood will affect our gut and how our gut can affect our mood. I, did I answer your question? Absolutely. What I, what I heard you say was basically a healthy gut affects a healthy brain and a healthy brain affects a healthy gut and vice versa. So whether it's healthy or unhealthy, they're continuously affecting one another. Is that? Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I, I like the way you summarized it. Um, Cause there's so much information in my brain. Sometimes it's hard to, to, to condense it. <laughs> But um, let's take that one step further with our microbiome. So we've proved that the microbiome is important, right? A healthy microbiome balance is, is important. Let's take it one step further. How the food, the food that we eat affects the microbiome, the composition of the microbes in our gut. And now that affects what they produce. And then that affects our enteric nervous system, which affects our brain. Right? So, Isn't that, so the foods we're putting in our body, which is, I guess we could go back to the whole reason we're consuming whole foods, right? The foods we're putting in our body are ultimately affecting our brain and how we feel. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, I think you, you just went straight up, right? <laughs> uh, the food to the brain. But essentially, that's what we're saying, because that's what I'm saying is, um, the foods are going to determine what flora we have and how healthy it is. So if we're eating a lot of sugars, for instance, we're going to be um, producing more yeast. The yeast feeds on sugar. So we're going to go out of balance or our flora is going to go out of balance. So we're going to produce more yeast and those yeast will start craving more sugar. And that, that's a little feedback loop on its own. So sometimes you're not the one craving sugar it's your microbiome craving sugar <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so you're saying every night when i want to eat ice cream it's not me it's the little monsters in my gut exactly <laughs> so that's how i tell myself oh that's not me so <laughs> it's i'm not feeding those bacteria i'm not feeding those yeast cells i'm not feeding those unhealthy bacteria right but when we clean up our bodies by eating whole foods and vegetables and taking the right supplements, you'll notice that those cravings disappear because you're now suppressing the yeast back into its right proportion. And now your body craves what it actually needs, not what the bacteria need. So we had a chance to speak prior to this call and you were mentioning essentials and the impact it's had on clients that you've worked with. So can you tell me a little bit about why you believe essentials is such a powerful ingredient and in the recipe for great health? Okay. All right. So I've been using essentials for a while now and I love it. Um, so let's go back to the beginning where I said, um, the gut is the foundation. A healthy gut is a foundation for good health, right? So what I love about essentials is um, you have your multivitamin, your multimineral, you have your fatty acids, and you have your digestive enzymes and probiotics all in a convenient dose pack, right? And so the way my mind imagines this is you have your enzymes that are digesting any sort of undigested food that's kind of sticking to the gut lining, and then you have your removing those toxins, and then you have your probiotics rebuilding a healthy gut flora. And then you, by doing so, you're decreasing the inflammation in the gut wall and you're allowing for better absorption of nutrients. Now, prior to finding essentials, I was prescribing the same, um, I say prescribing, but recommending the same regimen but they were coming individually, right? And they got it, it was expensive. Um, I found that it was maybe twice as much um, to get them separately as, as it is, yeah, to do your, do your dose packs. And um, so what I like about Essentials is that it's convenient, you know, um, not only is it a great supplement, 
but it's also plant-based, it's sustainable, and it's affordable. And I use it as part of my daily regimen, and I love it. What I see with my patients um, that have been using it, within a week of being on the essential packs, they start to have normal bowel movements, like daily bowel movements. And then we start having improvement in energy and in um, brain fog. Like they say, oh, my brain fog is lifted. I have more energy, I have more focus. And a lot of uh, um, uh, indigestion and things like that have improved. So this GI discomforts have improved. So I, I, you know, I really stand by the essentials. I, it's, I, I will highly recommend it. Awesome, awesome. There you have it, folks. And a big thank you to Dr. Bejnas. Thank you to all of you for tuning in. There was some amazing nuggets of information in there today. I hope you guys got out of it, uh, just, just a ton out of it. Uh, make sure you tune in for the next one. We'll catch you on the next Healthy Hustle. Take care.